Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. For this one we are going to be playing da, 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 a Zerg on Port Alexander Ladder Edition. Alright. Zerg like Zerg. Not enough minerals. 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 Additional supply depots required. Okay, slow down that inch bay. Not enough minerals. Oh, we're going to die, aren't we? Oh, you like started the animation for the final hit. In lost range. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Base. Is Not under enough attack. minerals. Not enough minerals. Is under attack. It's two lings. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Command center upgrade complete. Command center upgrade complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Especially quite a few. I feel like I can take a slow ground expansion fine.
not enough energy. It's like he's setting up to poop on these bases. Center upgrade complete. Alright, what do we got? Is there a layer? Yes. Roach. Hmm. Third base. Command center upgrade complete. Spire, all right. Additional supply, mineral field depleted. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots. Now oh, we expanded pretty quickly there. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. Not enough energy. Research complete. I don't have a command center anymore, do I? That's a problem. Insufficient Vespine gas. 
Add on complete. Mineral field depleted. Insufficient Vespine gas. Additional supply details required. Research. Additional Complete. supply details required. Not enough energy. Mineral field depleted. Insufficient mineral field depleted. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Uh, it's heating up out here. This test will require assistance. Mineral field depleted. Base mineral field attack. Command center upgrade. This vessel requires assistance. Mineral field depleted. Got any extra firepower? All right, one, two, three. That's misplaced, so I'll solve this problem for him. And that should be GG. Additional supply depots required. Oh, I got blue flame. Hmm. I got the other grab trade too. We're almost three threes done. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty standard victory. Um, got ahead early because he went for a Ravager Rush. And just stayed ahead. This build is, even though I'm going straight for four command centers, it's super strong versus one like layer base, uh, hatchery base all ends, whether it's Bailing Bust or Ravager Rush. Just because it gets that Banshee out, which deals with the Ravagers, Planetaries hold back everything else.
And now we're at a point where we're ahead by 10 workers at a point where Zerg should be ahead by about 15. So that's like a 25 worker change. Um, we're also clearing out some overlords. We go mutas, but we scouted it, so we're able to get up some good missile turret defense. He does come in here and get some work done. Uh, I didn't have structure armor done, which is pretty important versus mutas. Their damage is only nine, so um, missile turrets come with zero armor, so that means instead of doing nine damage, they would have done seven. That's like what twenty three percent damage decrease. That's pretty big. 21%, 22%, 22 probably, 22%. Um, yeah, so that didn't work out too well for him. So he was behind on workers. Now I went for another quick tech that just didn't pay off for him. He has no Evo chambers, no... Um, well, he's got an infestation pit, I guess. So he could go into layer tech. But no hive, no hydralis den, no upgrades, possibly. No, not even a flyer upgrade. And he's still behind on workers. And no fifth base, most importantly. No crew spread. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. He's going into Broodlord, so he can slowly build that count up. Sign up with Lords of Stormos. Stormos are actually very cheap um, in terms of their cost. Their supply cost is high, but their actual minerals and gas cost is not high. So you can get up a large amount of them pretty quickly. Uh, unfortunately for him, we did devastate that there. I guess he was concentrated on what was going up uh, on up here with the uh, Hellbats. Let's go to his vision. Guarding that, gets the kill. Okay, he's looking at the attack. So we squashed his uh, swarm hosts. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't repairing enough, so he did get this planetary down, but we had another one popping up here, so we got somewhere to transfer those workers to. Trying to make the mutas lose them. <laughs> wasn't quite successful. No upgrades on the roaches, so my hellbats will actually trade efficiently with roaches, which is not a common thing, but when you're four upgrades ahead, that'll happen. It's just how if my scout marine lives till later in the game, he'll die to a single zergling. I mean, we're basically back to five bases again. He's struggling to get a fourth that can do anything. And that's the end of his army. Bring up the army tab. Well, he's still got 3,000 of something. Storm host, I guess. But our 3-3 is almost complete. He is on 1-0. Our 3 3 will be done in about uh, 15 seconds, maybe less. He's on three base, and it is over. Guess let's run out, look at the final stats. He has lost his behind by 8k. Upgrades 3 3 versus 1 1 for melee, even though he's going roaches and mutas. And locusts. Yeah, in fact, nothing uses melee in what he has. <laughs> not the queens, not the locusts, not the... Maybe uh, he does have a hive, so maybe he was going to attempt ultralisk transition. Maybe that's what he was uh, planning for with those upgrades. Or even broodlords. The broodlings get a little bit of benefit from the uh, melee upgrade. Trifecta for the Raven, Corvid Reactor, extra energy, building armor, makes auto turrets, have more armor, 
Isaac auto tracking gives auto turrets more range. All right, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in and I'm out of here. Goodbye.